Hey guys, Ben Thunderbird with Hey Man Fishing. I got some fishing spots you need to check out the next time you're in Cherokee. <laughs> All right, guys, one of the place, places that you want to put in the fish in Cherokee, and I'm going to cover several in this video. This is what this video is about. Places in Cherokee that you want to fish if you ain't got but a day or two in here. One of them is right across from Big Don's off of Big Cove Road. Now, the best option is to park over as you go into the National Park behind me so you can, you can be on this side of the river because this side here on the other side is a little bit deeper. Fish have a tendency to be on that deeper side of that bank. Now, I'm using a spinner it's uh called a blue fox number two blue fox and fish in here they're gonna pick up this spinner right off if you park over at the, the parkway when you go in through the entrance to the right, uh, there's some places you can pull off to the side of the road. It's paved, and you can park there. But you want to go to that second area, not the first one, the second one. Because the first one will put you on a like a, a little trail that you can, you know, people getting out and exercising and walking. But you go to the second one, and you'll see where the ground's wore out, people walking into there's a little bridge there if you walk across but uh you get a chance when i go out i i show that to you we just got here in uh cherokee just i got a room our cabin won't be ready till noon and it's a little bit after nine now and that's a three hour ride up here for us where i live water looks good i mean it's got a good flow to it and Ain't too high. They're calling for storms tomorrow. And a little bit of rain today, so I'm hoping it uh, won't be too, get too high on us or we can fish them, at least tomorrow too. Like I say, when you up here, when you fishing up here, you hit a few places and move on. I don't know if they still do, but they used to walk right down here and uh, over in front of me. I don't know if you can see that, but uh, they used to be uh, a place the public could fish right off that little uh, boardwalk kind of thingy. Uh, jetted out over there, but it looks like it's done fell in. But they used to come out here and they put fish out right off of that. All right, so I done moved up a little bit. See my buddy down yonder. Uh, so I moved up this way. Uh, there's a the Blue Ridge Parkway starts right up above me. And of course, in my last video, I told you if you're gonna fish on the other side of that parkway, you better have a, a fly rod, or they're gonna get you if you're using spinners. Can't do that up there, it's catch and release. And all this is catch and keep. This is what that number two blade blue fox. I like that copper color. Hooks are really good. I I've never lost fish with those these hooks. I have with the mets and the those rooster tails. They have a tendency to get them spit out of the mouth, but I. I've yet to lose one on these uh, blue fox. I now you see, I spent all together 10 minutes or so right in here. Now we're gonna move again. 
I'm going to move on up a little bit more. You can catch some trophies. You can catch some nice trophy trout in here. And I'll tell you why. And I I got it in another video that uh, like to my left is the catch and uh, release. Well, they put in some nice trophy fish up there in them waters and them big old trout i'm talking over 22 inches five pounders they get they get washed down here and they 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 they're gonna uh stock at least once a week they advertise or used to advertise they stock twice a week and they got a great stocking program and they got two hatcheries up big cove road on top of the mountain there's two two hatcheries one on the right as you get up there to the stop sign and then there's another one i've been to the one to the right and then they got a one that's about twice the size if you take it back to your left that old timer doing the sawing up there look like big don you got a there's a fire like a, somebody burning wood over there in front of Big Don's old store. And this old guy, gentleman, he's cutting up wood. So that, that might be him. Oh, there he is. All right, there you go. We got one up here. Come on up here. I don't think he's a real big one. But he is one. Yeah. There you go. There you go. Guys, if you like the content and this kind of fishing, subscribe to the channel. Uh, I make several trips up to Cherokee. I do quite a bit of bass fishing and uh, crappy fishing. Uh, I try to give instructions of what has helped me and all of it's my, in my opinion. But uh, there's something that can help you and uh subscribe and if you just enjoy watching fishing like i do even at the house watching videos then subscribe and enjoy oh hey oh 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 he's on there thought I didn't have him yeah yeah he feels a little bit better a little bit better come on up here big boy oh yeah he's a little bit better fish I believe if I can get him up here without losing him mm -hmm. yeah come on ah. Yeah. Yeah. Alright, yeah, a little bit bigger. Hey guys, I'll show you this fish here. He's a lot better than that other one. Gonna be some good eating. This is the path I was telling you about from the road. So guys, when you come down, when you get out of your truck, come down that path, you want to go across this bridge and go straight across. Don't, don't stay on this uh, nice trail. Just go through the woods there 
and that'll take you over to that hole. Ah, get out of there. Yeah. All right, guys, you see what happens if you, if you leave your fish out there around the, he wanting that, he's wanting them so bad. He's wanting them so bad, look at him. All right, guys, here's you another hot spot right behind me. I'm over here near Mingo Falls. Come up Big Cove Road, take a right on the Mingo, cross the bridge, Take a left, take a left after you cross the bridge and come up here where you got this uh, retaining wall. This retaining wall out in front of it. Now you can crawl, you can get down over here to my right. But what you want to do is uh, you want to work all, start up here and work this all out here in front of you. And work it all the way down and uh like i say if they in there you're gonna tear them up there's parking down at the end down there park your truck and come up here to fish i got some right here guys in this uh they stacked up, I believe. Ah, just come out of the water on me. Come on out there, buddy. He won't was out of there so bad. Come on out here. There you go. There you go. This bridge right here behind me. Um, if you can fish down there around those uh, those bridge supports up and around side of them you're gonna catch you some and this right across uh this uh it's right across from the native brew tap and grill all right another place up here on big cove road that you want to give some attention to is this rock wall if you this is right off big cove road it's in the campground here but if you fish down beside that rock wall you can pick up some trout. One thing you gotta be careful of over here is these uh the stents, it's easy to get hung up on. There you go. There you go. Get him up here. Got to get him over these rocks. Yeah. 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 All right. Then try to get over as close to that wall as you can. There he is. There he is. Come on up here. There we go. All right, guys, another little hot spot here is up at uh, Bunches. Uh, you know, if you're heading up to the Indian Camp, uh, Indian Creek uh, Campground, 
you come up there, a bunch of road crosses a, a small bridge. You're looking at it here. This is a hot spot here. They dump them fish on that bridge out. And uh, you, can get, you can do some good fishing all up along here, all the way down from those rapids, all the way up to that bridge. Good fishing. All right, another little spot, guys, is right behind this Carolina Coney's and Ice Cream. Uh, it's pretty steep getting back down in, in there. When you're walking, it's pretty steep uh, to get in there. But it's out here off this, uh, I guess you call it the Main Street of Cherokee. And we're gonna walk back here. I'm gonna show you what that looks like. It's one place where a lot of people won't come. I mean, probably hadn't even considered it, but uh, it's a good fishing hole. All this down here, what I'm talking about. And likely they don't stock in here, but what happens, those fish, they get pushed down. Get pushed down the river. Ideally, this is a good summer setup in here. You got these deep pools. You can throw those uh, crickets and uh, night crawlers. Break myself on something on the back here where I told you. You got uh, off a of bunches road. That one spot I was showing you about. If you go up to Indian Creek Campground, there you go. I think he's gonna be a little. I don't know. He might be a decent one. But uh, go to Indian Camp Creek Campground. To the left is Indian Creek. That's Indian Creek. That's where you can catch him brook trout. Oh, he's too little. See ya. He's a little one. There's there he is right there. Oh, I feel a little bit better there. Trout. Now put this on your list. Like I say, it's kind of hard to get to when you're coming down. Oh, it's so pretty. Look at the color on that thing. Look at the color on this trout. You ever seen a color like that on a trout? That is first time I've seen one that color. I don't know why, but that is awful pretty. Okay, guys and gals, thanks for watching this episode. I hope you picked up something that'll help you. Hit those little hot spots I told you about. You're going to catch you some uh, trout. Um, until the next time, God bless all of you and have a great week.